So the first source that I'm going to talk to you about is a one that is offered free through the Cuyahoga Public Library. So once you have a card number and a PIN, you go ahead and sign in. And it takes you right to the Scholastic Teachables which is a website that teachers can find both lesson plans and worksheets for the classroom. And it comes with a wide variety of topics that you can look at, differentiation, mini books, things that the parents can work on at home with them. So we can go ahead and scroll through that. It has different lessons that are for the seasons that are happening. And it has lots of different sources. So if you go up to the top, you, as you see here, you can search by um, the standard you're working with. Or if you're doing fractions, you can type in fraction worksheets. And it will come up with a variety of different fraction worksheets and lesson plans that can be used. Some are free and some are paid. Um, after I've noticed once I've been kind of messing around with it, there are more free than there are uh, not free, but it just depends on the topic you're looking at. If we were to look at figurative language, you can see that there's all of these that you can look at. So um, also here on the left hand side, you can see the filters that goes all the way from pre-K until eighth grade. And you can filter it out by if there's a common core you're working with or just math, science. It even breaks it down to social and emotional learning, teaser resources, the different types. You can do arts and crafts and an assessment tool if that's what you're looking for. Um, also different themes. So if it's a holiday nearby, you can work with that. So this is a nice site that breaks it all down. Um, for, I would use this in um, my classroom with working with my students on an IEP goal. I think that this has a lot of resources that I could um, take apart and have the students work on their goals with. And um, the readability of this source is for all levels. That if you have a student who's at a lower reading level, you're able to find lower content, but still grade level appropriate for the students. Um, and I'm able to print off multiple assignments and work with multiple children um, at one time. So this is my first source. Um, the next source I'm going to talk about is called News to You, um, which if you're just in the general ed world, you probably won't see this. This is more related towards special ed. Um, but what this is, is the company takes real world, real news, um, current event, what's happening in the world, and creates them into some awesome interactive um, worksheets. So as you can see here, um, the students are able to pull it up on iPads and work through the assignment on an iPad. You're also able to print out sheets and have the student work on them in their, with, on their hands writing. Um, and it just kind of is a great way to implement um, current news in your classroom, um, which can kind of be hard if you have students at a lower level. Um, the current news is sometimes hard to understand. So um, it improves with the language and the literacy skills. As you can see here, um, this sent it's giving the student a sentence, but also with the sentence, it's giving the student work pictures to help them figure out the words and know what word, what each word means. So it does everything from daily weather that can be projected on the board to these current newses. Um, this is also some of the other things that they offer. Um, so the adaptive text, so you're able to have it at any level. So your whole classroom can be working on the same assignment, but everything is already differentiated for the students to have um, what they need at that level. So if you're working in a small group and you have one student who can read proficiently by themselves, um, they're able to read 
the article by themselves, but if you have a student who can't read proficiently by themselves, they're able to have this symbol support text, which they're able to read it by themselves and also use the pictures to help them figure out the words that they don't know. Um, with this news to you, they also give a lesson plan for each of the assignments that are given and I this is probably one of my favorite parts is it's a whole lesson so you have you read the story you understand it then they have a um vocabulary activity where once again it's all different levels so you can as you can see here this is like a cut and paste thing where you read the question and the student cuts out the answer and glues it down i like this is working with their fine motor and their gross motor skills because some of these students have a hard time with that and it's also hands-on not just writing in a worksheet and at the end of each unit they have comprehension questions which is awesome because they you can go through the whole lesson and it is a current lesson so they are learning both real world and their reading skills and then have a comprehension question at the end so and once again there are four different levels so they a student has the questions and the answers with pictures the student just has a simplified um question and answers and the more above would be um, the student has three choices for one question, and then this down here will be the lowest level that they have, which is just one question comprehension. So I I really, really, really enjoy um, this news to you. I've got to work with it um, in a couple of schools I've been in. Um, this helps with a lot of students with dyslexia since there is that comprehension part of it and the pictures with the words. Um, so it's it has all the aspects that would be used in um, my classroom. And I like that this is for current news because it's able to be given to an older audience, but at a lower level, which I feel is a hard thing to find is like having current things or higher level things for your students that are at their reading level. So the next source that I have is called Book Flick. And uh, once again, like the first source, this is a free source that if you have a Cuyahoga Public Library sign in, you are able to sign in and use these for at home use or with your classroom. So the reason I picked this book is be this resource is because um, it works with fiction and nonfiction. So you can pick any of these things. Um, nature and animals. We'll click on this one. Animals and nature. And it's fun, interactive, and they give you both a fiction and a nonfiction book so that you're able to talk about the real world things, but also have a fun um, book to go along with it. So they, you can watch or read the story. So he will listen to this. School Scholastic. And these are free with um, your library card. So this, it makes it an interactive book, um, which would be, I would more use this with my lower end students and um, lower grade level just because I am K-12 in my specialty, so I can be working with students all the way up to 8th grade or 12th grade all the way down to kindergarten um so i think that this is great you read both you watch the story and you read the book and then there's games that go read along the with clue it. below click on the word it matches match all the words to uncover a picture so An animals it, home it gives Cub. you and I like the aspect of it reading out loud to your students because you're able to set a student up with a computer and they're able to um, go through it on their own. Um, a lot of times with my special ed kids, they have a hard time reading, so they can't do assignments by themselves. So that this is all interactive and all online, it talks to them. Um, Cub. It has a lot of... Look at these three pictures. Comprehension what happened first? stories. Drag that picture to the yellow box that go along with it and it comes for a wide variety of things it doesn't Click have to be a category it can be anything so Earth and sky um i really like this source and i would definitely use this in my classroom for maybe an opener to a concept with the fun book and 
um, the fiction and nonfiction books for my lesson. Um, and it's great that you can take apart each of these books and find the level that it's for. But I would use this again for my um, younger kids just because the book selection they give you is for younger grades. So the fourth source that I have is called Reading A to Z. Um, they also do, as you can see up at the top, Science A to Z, Writing A to Z. They have a wide variety for this. Um, once again, this is a paid resource, but I think that this resource is worth every penny. Um, a lot of the schools that I've been in have paid for this so um, in the special ed classroom, so you see this a lot. Um, so we go ahead and look. This is my free trial just for this. So all these books you can actually download um, and they are fiction and nonfiction books. Um, they also work on fluency, which in my special ed classrooms, um, we see fluency as a prob as a big problem and needs to be worked on. They have phonics that you're able to work on. Um, so if we go ahead and download one of these books, they look like this. So it's, it comes out to be nine pages, but it's made so that you can fold the book up and students can hand hold a real book. Um, so it gives you like the different levels um, of what the reading is so you know and when you're familiar with the letters that correspond with the level it's a little bit easier um, but you go through and they have different level books for everyone but this is also a great resource because it's talking about um, higher level things but at a lower reading level um, which is a great source because a lot of once again, a lot of my students have a higher, um, are older that can comprehend things a little bit better, but aren't at that um, level for reading. So this is a great resource for that. Um, you can go through, they have different, they have, this one has an experiment, they all have different things. Um, and I, I would, I would definitely really like to use this in my classroom. Um, you, they're printable, so a lot of the times with my special ed kids, you have to follow along with what you're reading, so everyone's able to have a copy of this in their hands. They can follow along, they can mark things up as they go, um, which would be great, and I can collect all that information from the books, like, and put it in data to help with their IEPs. So even though this is a paid one, I think this is a great source, and a, you will see this in a lot of um, special ed classrooms. And then the uh, last source I have, um, which is also one from the uh, Cuyahoga Public Library that is free with your library card, um, is called Libby, which Libby are also known by um, Overdrive. Um, this is a free all online library that you could borrow anything from ebooks, audiobooks, and like so much more. So this is an app, so this will just kind of give you an overview of like what it's on the website, but you can go ahead and scan this QR code and download it from the App Store or the Google Store. So um, they have all these books online that you can download and use and then when your three weeks are up you they automatically um get returned so there's no late fees um and there's no um most of the time they have a couple copies so you don't have to wait as long for it to be in person and then you always have it on you so you can use it on all your devices so if you have an ipad or if the students have an ipad and a chromebook you can use it in both um, like I said, you can download them so you can use them with Wi-Fi or without Wi-Fi. Um, and the main part that I like about Libby is the audio version of it. So a lot of times, once again, with special ed, you're in a classroom and the whole class is supposed to read a chapter book for homework. And if you have a student who can't comprehend what they read themselves, they're not likely to want to read it um, at home so but if you say hey download this free app like you can have the book free for audio they're more likely to do that when I was growing up audio books were like $40 and they didn't really couldn't really rent them so now if you can use this Libby app and just rent the books I think it's 
way better. Also for general ed teachers, if you are reading a chapter book to your class and you don't want to read it every day or read the same chapter six times because you teach the same class six times, you can just turn on this audio book and they have different voice actors for each of the books and a variety of books for all ages. So like I said, it doesn't have to just be chapter books. It can be um, older books and you're able to break it down by chapter. It tells you how many minutes are left in the chapter, as you can see here, how far you are with the book and you can listen to it anywhere. So I will 100% be using this in my classroom for the aspect of the free part of the free online books, but also the aspect of having my kids have it um, and being able to read books for them at home. Um, it works with pretty much every book, so you're able to have all levels, um, and I just think that this would be a great resource for any general ed teachers and especially special ed teachers.